Hey everybody, Bookie TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever, ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license, no shot on his 21st birthday, uh, no rental, he ain't rented nothing, he ain't nothing. So everything that we do and it's easy to us, his kids is never gonna see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter. We only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and God's going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. Ray J, one more again. Brother. What the fuck are you talking about? You and Floyd Mayweather swap girls, man. And that's how y'all get down, man. That's why he that's why y'all not friends no more because of princess. You done fell in love and made and made babies with this man's wife. <laughs> Your goddamn friend. What they teach y'all out there in Hollywood, man? What they what they what they doing with y'all, man? What they programming y'all to do, man? Now you done got this goddamn man woman. And you talking about you, you uh, uh, for the love of Ray J, you done gave him two of the girls from the, from the winning girls from the love of Ray J. You know, some people, some people do that shit and they really don't be feeling that. But they do it just to try to be cool. And he probably wasn't feeling that you was you, <laughs> you wiped his girl, man. And he didn't think you were gonna take it that goddamn far <laughs> and have babies and shit. He didn't think you was gonna take it that damn far, man. And you did. And you damn did. <laughs> so now y'all not cool. So y'all, so what, y'all, oh, you say, oh, so the homie say, oh, man, uh, I'm feeling her. I like her. Uh, I know you with her. <laughs> okay, I know you with her, but I like her, man. I, I, I want to fuck with that, man. You say, oh, you like, oh, okay, let me see, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if she like you. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing, man? And you go to her, hey, a homie like you, you know? 
run up and you, you, you get with them. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all some weirdo shit out there, bruh. Like, that's some weird shit. Just let the homie get her. You can have her. Boy, I don't know what the hell y'all on, man. I'm talking about, yeah, oh, oh, he might be wearing a watch right and wearing a jacket right, and, you know, and she might be feeling the way he's wearing it and, you know, not feeling me that much. So, you know, I'm going to give it. That's a recipe for fucking disaster, man. That shit, that shit, that shit a pure recipe for disaster. You're not gonna win like that, man. Somebody feels gonna get fucking hurt. Some people can't handle that type type of goddamn emotional goddamn abuse. <laughs> Probably look at the TV like shit. And got her pregnant and shit. I didn't tell that nigga to do all that. Shit, I thought she was gonna be coming back. Now you done lost your friend. The, well, girlfriend. Or you was the girlfriend, one or one or the other. Cause you was singing them ballads and shit to him, so. You done lost your goddamn man. <laughs> this nigga said, yeah, we just had, we just passed him on, you know, if if she feeling him and not feeling me too much cause he got more money, then you know, like what? What the fuck are y'all talking? What the fuck y'all got going? Bruh. Like I said, that's a recipe for fucking disaster. That's never gonna turn out good, never gonna end good. It's always gonna be fucked up. Somebody gonna get fucked up. And now you done lost your fucking friend. Now you're not part of the money team. Y'all tripping, man. All these goddamn girls around here, man. All these goddamn girls around the world. And y'all... Wait till the other person catch her. At the end, he wanted her. And she not feeling him too much. And then he go to the other... To, he just pass her over. Just sign the title over. There you go. She yours now, man. She wanted you anyway. Probably took you a hell of a lot to catch her too. And then you just gonna sign her over. You niggas is weird out there, bro. That's that weird shit. All y'all part of it, man. All y'all fucking part of it, man. No doubt about it, man. Weird ass shit. What y'all think about Ray J and them passing people around, man, and 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 their little friend circle and and then d double dating and shit with each other? With <laughs> what y'all think about that, man? Y'all think that's gonna turn out all right? Let me know, please. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't hate. Comment.